Patron. Noun. A person who provides money or other assistance to an artist, writer, charity, cause, or in my case, an independent content creator. History and etymology. Now before we go on, I'd like to thank my own patrons over on Patreon.com. The word patron was selected for this entry by Mark Sparing, my first patron. If you're interested in becoming a patron, please follow the link in the description below. The history of the word patron goes all the way back to the Latin word pater, meaning father. As the legend goes, Romulus, the founder of Rome, selected 100 fathers of influential families to form the senates, and in the same stroke, creating a class system. From pater, the Romans derived the word patronus, which means protector or guardian. You'll probably recognize this word from Harry Potter, where it refers to a spirit that can be summoned to protect the caster. But in Rome, a real patronus was a person that had a responsibility towards their clients. The relationship of a patronus to a clients was between someone of a higher class to someone from a lower class, or between the former master of a freed slave and that free man. This relationship usually went both ways. The patronus would be expected to provide financial support for the clients, and the clients would be required to provide services such as political campaigning or physical labor for the patronus. In the medieval and renaissance periods in France and other European countries, this became the system of patronage. Rulers, nobles, and very wealthy people would support artists to bolster their own political ambitions, social positions, and prestige. This wasn't limited to artists. Patrons would also support early sciences, writers, alchemists, astrologers, scholars, and many other professions. Over time, this system continued, though the funds were provided through different sources ranging from the church, charitable foundations, and governments. The word patron and the system of patronage found its way into English both through the French word patron and Latin patronus, and maintaining a very similar meaning. Funny side note, Samuel Johnson, the writer of the first comprehensive English dictionary, added some humor to some of his entries in his dictionary. One of these entries made it very clear that he didn't always get along with his patrons that were supporting his dictionary project. His definition for the word patron went as follows. One who countenances, support, or protects. Commonly a wretch who supports with insolence and is paid with flattery. And today, in this new world of social media and independent content creators, patronage has transformed. No longer is it solely the domain of the elites and the wealthy. Thanks to technology, patronage has become distributed, and anyone can help support content, science, arts, music, and causes that they love without a middleman standing in their way. Websites like Patreon, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and PayPal have made it possible for large numbers of regular people to individually contribute small amounts of money. When those small individual contributions come together, it can be enough to support a massive project. Like creating a dictionary, for example. Prescription. I love this new application of the word, and I think it needs to be encouraged especially in the realm of entertainment and independent media. It takes the creative, moral, and political controls out of the hands of the gatekeepers, who usually have an agenda of their own, and puts it back in the hands of the people. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, I have a Patreon set up for this channel. And just as in the patronage relationships of old, this is a two-way relationship. Everyone signed up as a patron, even at the $1 tier, gets access to a private Discord server and closed Facebook group where I'll answer questions and I'll be available to you. At the $2 and $5 tiers, you'll be able to participate in an election to select one word a month for me to investigate and add to the video dictionary. And at the $10 tier, you'll not only get to nominate and vote on the monthly patron word, but you'll also receive a custom-designed postcard mailed to you every month 
printed with a definition from my dictionary, and a handwritten personal message. At some point, I may switch up or change these tiers, so before you pledge, make sure you take a look and read what it says in the description for each of these tiers. The link to my Patreon is in the description below. I'd love to thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the history of the word patron. And if you like this video, give it a like. Let me know in the comments below if there's any words you'd like me to look into. And if you're a lexophile like me, please subscribe for more, and I'll keep them coming.